what is going on YouTube it's me Andy the Kid and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to monitor your GPU um, settings using um, GPU Z and it's a um, graphics monitoring um, program so uh, you're gonna have to go to this website right here uh, right where is it right there and uh, you can download the two two versions of it, either the regular plain version which I have, or the cool looking um, Asus Republic of Gamers uh, version, up to you. Um, but yeah, I'm using the regular default version, so you download and install it like a regular program, and then you want to click on it. It's gonna run, and uh, once you get you will get to a screen like this or this user user interface. And uh, once you're here, um, there's three tabs, graphics card, sensors, and end validation. Um, so, uh, you can view the name of your graphics card, a whole bunch of stuff. And um, it tells you the BIOS version you have. You can click on this to save the BIOS or the basic input output system. Save it to your desktop or anywhere. So then, just in case you have to re restore your BIOS, you have the file. Um, you can click on that to start a render test. Right? So you click on this question mark, and it will start a render test. And then you can use, um, you can render a full screen. That's only for Crossfire and SLI. So you can start the render test, and it tells you how many frames I have since I have. Um, DX story installed. So I'm going to close that down. You can take a screenshot and I'm going to cancel that. So once you can keep on looking and see how many shaders you have, um, the DirectX 11 version, um, pixel fill rate, texture fill rate, the memory type, um, the bus width, minus 256, um, the bandwidth, and um, yeah, but the most important thing that you can that that you use this program to check is your GPU clock, and um, the default clock is right here, so it's 900 and 1050. But I overclocked it, and um, so there you can go watch my video on how to overclock your AMD Radeon GPU. Um, but yeah, and then at the bottom where it's computing, it uh, gives you all the if everything is checked, that means that pretty much have like one of the best um, GPUs but uh, since I'm running an AMD um, graphics card I don't have CUDA or PhysX checked and that's because um, AMD cards don't run PhysX or support PhysX so yeah in case you don't know what PhysX is is that it pretty much some games like Metro and Battlefield um, Bad Company 2 they support physics and it pretty much enhances um, the game the way it looks the graphic settings if you're playing with an Nvidia card um, so yeah you can go on the sensors and then you can see what you call it um, the current clock speed of your comp of your um, graphics card it's current memory clock a whole bunch of other stuff the fan speed um, RPMs GPU load, temperature, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So you can feel free to explore, and you can also log um, everything to a file by clicking log to file, and then validation. This part, um, the whole point of this is that you enter, I don't know, let's say your name, your email address, blah blah blah. Enter some comments, and then you click submit. Um, all it does is that it uploads your graphic settings to. Um, Tech Power Ups um, servers and other people can view your graphic settings and that's important if they're trying to overclock their card and a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, and the sub vendor of my card right here is XFX Pine Group. So XFX is the card I have. Anyways, um, this has been the review of GPU Zen, how to monitor your um, GPU settings in Windows 8 and um, if this video helped you give it a thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe. Um, peace.
peace.